hidden within palm oil plantations and behind tall fences. Dozens of unlicensed plastic recycling factories processing waste from countries such as the US, UK and New Zealand dot this quiet district an hour from Kuala Lumpur. Or they did till worried residents got the authorities to shut many of them down. The factories didn't have proper environmental controls for washing and processing the waste. Many dumped the unrecyclable scrap on agricultural land and near water sources. Some have just been indiscriminately burning it. Our village has become the victim of this incineration, with the pungent smell of burning in their noses. The villagers find it very difficult to sleep at night. People are more and more worried about how these factories threaten their health, especially their children. As the authorities crack down on illegal factories in one area, indications are that many are just upping and moving to new areas that are under less scrutiny. Malaysia and other Southeast Asian countries seem to be becoming a favored destination or dumping ground for the developing world's unwanted plastic waste after China shut its doors. Companies need to remove the waste from their countries to countries where the policies are more easier to manipulate, where the regulation is less stiff uh, and where enforcement is very weak. And I think this is a problem that a developing country like Malaysia faces. Drones enabled the people of this district to document the extent of the problem and pressure the authorities to act. Malaysia's government says it will now ban the importation of all non-recyclable foreign plastic scrap, though many remain skeptical that the country will never again see any sights like these. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Selangor, Malaysia.